everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I thought I would do something a little different if you've watched several of my videos. Recently, I did my favorite beauty items. I also did my favorite cleaning products. So today I thought I'd bring my husband along and um, I took him to the Dollar Tree and wanted him to pick out his favorite items from the Dollar Tree. I know everybody has those certain items and I figured I would let him tell you his favorite items from the Dollar Tree. I know we do like Dollar Tree. It's getting well, it's not Christmas just yet, but I know he goes into the Dollar Tree and he does men's stocking stuffer ideas, so I figured I'd just let him share with you what his favorite items from the Dollar Tree is. So, without further ado, let him tell you guys about his favorite products and why he loves these products. I mean, love is a strong word. Well, uh, love is. A, I mean, it's Dollar Tree, it's, but, but likes. You can you can you can get things at the Dollar Tree that are useful. You can get things at the Dollar Tree that work. Yes. For what you need, yes. and and like for me, like I always have, I don't know, five or six things in my truck from the Dollar Tree because I need them for things. So like, like this nylon paracord. So you get this roll for a buck twenty-five. You can throw it in your toolbox or in your side door or behind your seat or wherever. Um, and if you need to tie something down, you've got it. If you need it for whatever, you need to repair something like something broke, and you can like poke. It's got poke holes in it or something. You need to repair it just to get you home. You can do it with this. You can do it with. Whatever. It comes in different colors, It right? comes in all kinds of different it's colors. It's by tool bench and everything yes. that you're, well, not everything, not but everything. most of the things are in within the tool section. Right. So that's what it but, looks like. But like, paracord like that's really nice because even if it's snowing or freezing or cold, you can still use it and you even if your hands are cold, it's not hard to like use. And you know, it's, it's handy to have. I've used it more than once. Yeah. Like, we're like, ah, where's my ratchet straps? Well, I've got this and just pull it out of the toolbox and I can tie down whatever I'm picking up. Emergency kit, even girls. Yeah. Everybody, absolutely. it doesn't matter. Anybody. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's always tie drowns in trunks mm -hmm. and stuff usually. And if you got something flying around in your trunk, you can like, you know, tie it up to the side or something. And, and that works good. Right. Yeah. Well, good. Worth a dollar twenty-five. Now, yeah. obviously, with any of my videos, you guys know, is there better out there? Absolutely. One hundred percent. But we're going from right. to the Dollar Tree. Is it worth it? Does it? Right. Is it good? Type of thing. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. So, and then, like, gloves. Like, you can put these in your truck or your car or whatever. They're they're rubbery, so they can grab onto things, so wet conditions and stuff like that. They're kind of one-size-fits-all, but they're not. These are large. They say, large. they say one-size-fits-most. So, you know, but I have... Big. Well, I have big palms and short fingers. So, like, they run into here first, and then I've still got a little bit at the end. So, but they fit me pretty good. I wear a medium glove normally at work. Medium. I can wear a large, but medium usually fits better. So this is what they're, they're, this is amazing. They're just a work you. glove. Just, you can find these all you know. the time at the Dollar Tree. This is They what have they a bunch like. of different types. They have some that are like softer, like garden gloves. Those are a little more aggressive. So like if you had to change a tire on the side of the road or something like that, and you didn't want to get your hands all filthy dirty, you could wear those and yeah, get done what you fit. need to get done. And you know. So they're good? Yeah. Yeah, I mean they feel actually really nice. They're the better ones that I found there. So this is what they look like. Remember, do they come in different colors or are they only in blue? I think they came in white, blue, and green. Okay, and they look like these. They're like nice and sturdy. You'll when you see them and you feel them. Right. You'll they're not know. The, this they're is not what the they ones like. that are like the smooth foam. They actually have. You can see them. They have like ridges on the inside, like. Yeah. So they're like, they've got like Grips. grip. So it's like they were sprayed rather than dipped. So those are good. That's good. Good good things. Okay, what about this? Zip ties. No one, no man worth his salt doesn't have zip ties in his car. You got, sometimes you got a brake line that falls down, you got to zip tie it up. If you drive old cars like I do, <laughs> you know, sometimes things break. Sometimes like, like I say, same with the paracord. You got to tie something together. Sometimes zip tie is perfect. You know, you can just like, even if you have to like poke a hole in it with a knife and then run the zip tie through and zip, tighten it up. Now you're gonna make it home, you know? I've repaired, I've repaired belts for my truck with zip ties and got me home. Yeah. Out in yes. the woods. I'm like, yeah. oh, well, that's bad. So, serpentine belt on a Bronco, I repaired with zip ties. 
<laughs> so it'll get you home. And I was not, you know, and it's good to have. And you know, these are all multicolored yeah. and different sizes. So I think they come in different. I think they have some they have the big. I used it. great big zip ties. Mm -hmm. Like I had two of them, and they they were almost perfect. And I just had to stagger them a little bit to make it work right. And it, you know, it was noisy, and it was, you know, but I made yeah. it home. I charged the battery, and I made it home. And. uh ran the water pump and all that. So these are just, they're the 120, just yeah. the tool bench as well, just like that. But they have all different sizes. This is just kind of a basic Multi. punch. You can use that for, so you know, tidying up sizes. things. Yeah. But they have the great big ones. You know, they have like a five pack of the great big That's ones right. in black and white, and then they have smaller sizes all the way through. You could go in there and get all the zip ties you need for, you know, five bucks yeah inexpensive so these are good to have anywhere i mean that's pretty good that's pretty good okay as i drop stuff okay what about this thing you use Scrapers. this tool all the time i use i like a painter scraper better mm -hmm. than any scraper i mean you get to get the big five you know the wide blade ones that are good for like doing a lot of putty work but just to have a scraper around the house if you only have one this is the one to have because it does everything because you can you can like use this like if you're doing like caulking around the tile you can use this on the bottom like that and this round edge will you know leave that little bit of a bevel at the bottom as you go around and it's easy to clean because it's got this little point you just like that and keep going so and you know you can clean off things that are round it's got this little thing here for like nails i wouldn't pull nails with it but yeah but uh I, what i have done with it is like if i have to have a nail i need to hold i put a piece of tape on there stuck the nail through and tack 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 and then pulled it off so multi multi purpose. I mean, obviously not looking a really big nail head, but yeah. Yeah. But when I was doing when I was doing uh, baseboards, I was using that because it was the perfect height. Because like I had a piece of tape on there, and I would just poke the nail through, set oh. this thing on the ground like that, and just pop pop pop, and it would, and I didn't have to smash my fingers, and That's then just nice. replace the tape every you know ten nails, and you're good. So, good mm -hmm. to know. Good to know. See, there's some good stuff. Okay. I put these in my in my safe because moisture is a problem in Oregon and I, I kind of keep them in the garage too. Yeah. I keep them in my toolbox and stuff because you know you park in the garage your car comes in it's soaking wet from the yeah. rain oh, yeah. and all that moisture has to go somewhere. I mean it evaporates but it you know it just moves around the garage and I'll find rust on my tool if I if I don't you know take measures. So mm -hmm. I usually have a couple of these in my safe. I'll put one you know, if I've closed my toolbox, I'll put one in my toolbox. Um, you know, just places that get a lot of moisture. Right. You could probably keep one. In you probably closet, keep one in your closet. Room. You can keep one in the bathrooms. The entry, like put it in the cabinet or like your like under your sink. Oh, that's a good idea. Because yeah. especially and put one in your um in your uh, what are your towels going? Pantry. Not your pantry. Your closet. Uh, your linen, linen closet. closet. There you go. If your linen <laughs> closet is in your bathroom. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. It's too. a good place to keep one, you know, just to kind of keep the moisture down mm -hmm. so your towels don't sour. Yeah, that's towels actually Towels really don't good sour. Yeah. So, this is what it is. I sometimes these are hard to find. It just depends right. on the Dollar Tree. Not every Dollar Tree will carry these, or when mm -hmm. they do, they go fast. Right. So, but get the ones in the little, not the ones in the bag, right. the one that actually has the containers and stuff. Yes. This is the one that you want to get. Yeah. And they yeah. do, they work. They do work, yeah. Six months later, that thing's full of water. Yeah, so. You, know, you just trade it out. Those are some good ideas. Yeah. And you yeah. put it in the trunk of your car, even, if, you, if you've if got a oh, trunk yeah. that seals. And, like, guys that work outside. Like, mm -hmm. some of you guys work outside, your clothes get wet, and you, you throw your jacket in the trunk of your car, or, or in the back of your truck, or, you know, like, if you've got an extended cab, and you forget about it, oh, and it sits right. there and just is wet and moldy, all of a sudden, you know, now you've got mold everywhere in your truck. When you, if you'd had one of those, it might have saved you. Oh, uh, see? That's good idea. Good ideas. All right, next and up. Wipes. I think I've shown these before on other things, but. You like these, the Nobleman? I like, they're all the same. Are they? They're all pretty much the okay. same. But the men's ones tend to have a more aggressive, like, side. one side's aggressive, one side's smoother, like most wipes. Mm -hmm. But it seems like it'd be a little more aggressive when it's the men's ones for some reason. And I use these for, like, when I eat lunch at work, it's filthy dirty, especially where I'm working now. It's just a mess. It's mm -hmm. just constant dust everywhere, and it gets on everything. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'll wipe my hands down. I'll wipe my, my area where I eat, you know, and because I don't really have a lunch room. So yeah. I kind of just wipe everything down, set up my stuff, and I eat, and I go along my day, and then I can so clean up. So any of the men's wives, he likes yeah. them, yeah. It doesn't have to necessarily be for your face, but if you have someone that, right. like, you have a dirty job, this right. stuff, and there's no, like, running really water, I mean, maybe there is, but right. it's hard to get to. Stuff like this is really good, mm -hmm. he likes. 
the men's wipe. Any of the men's wipe, right? You right. don't have any no, of those are fine. You're not, you're not picky about no, which one I mean, you like? I have I have disinfectant ones as well mm -hmm. that I use to like clean everything off yeah. every morning. Or, like not every morning, but most face. mornings. The disinfectant yeah. ones. Okay, perfect. And then the other one, we'll talk about this. He's really okay. picky about his about pins. Pins. Yeah, I've so, never. You are pretty picky. Right. I like I like <laughs> gel pins, but the pilots, as, as if anybody uses a pilot gel pin, you know they smear bad. So. These Bix Gelosities do not smear like the Pilots, and they're just as good, you know. They may not be, like, as well made, maybe, but they're just as good. And, you know, it's got to have a clip. It's got to have a clicker for me, because I usually do things one-handed when I'm writing. So, I've got this, I got, and I, I don't want to lose the cap. Now it dries out, so mm -hmm. everything's a click pin with me. Um, and then I keep a Sharpie fine point in my garage all the time, in case I need to mark something. I have, I have chalk markers, too, and I have some paint pins, but... Like most of the time, all I need is this, and because like if I need something to line up again, I can mark it on both edges, and then this stuff with just a little bit of alcohol wipes right off, and it's never it was never there. So these are good to have around. I like them. Sharpies they have a bigger version of this that's a clicker, which I have one, but they don't sell those at the Dollar Tree. They sell these. So and these are fine for your garage if you're going to keep them. I just the the caps come off too easy, so I don't carry them around. Yeah. So hopefully this video helped you in some sort of way. You can also use these for, you know, stocking mm -hmm. stuffers. I know it's a little early, but if you guys are like us, we think of head and we'll definitely come back during the holiday right. season and, and do more kind and of the guide red videos. rags. I couldn't find the, the oh, red right. the red shop rags. I use those all the time and they're they're durable, they last forever. You can throw them in a bucket with some soapy water and just like mash them with a broom or a, yes. or like a stick or something, swirl them around and then just wring them out and let them dry out and they're fine. If you want them cleaner than that for any reason, you can, after you do that, you can throw them in the washing machine yeah. and they're not going to mess up the rest of your clothes. We couldn't find them in any of the dollars. Couldn't things. find them anywhere. So if you find them, they're just the red, not the right. white rags, the, the old, shop rugs. Right, the old school mechanics red, you know, rags that you've seen. You know, in every movie that a mechanic uses that red rag to wipe his hands as he's talking to the young yeah. guy, you know. It's the same thing. You, it, They've been around forever. I just, I just haven't been able to find yeah. them. So let me know if they're at your Dollar Tree, let me know. But yeah. we have several Dollar Trees around us, and we have been looking. I have been looking for those right. rags, and we can't find and them. And it's so. the best deal because the ones they're selling now, you get three for dollar twenty-five. When you got the red ones, you got ten. You mm -hmm. got a ten-pack for buck 25 or a dollar at the time mm -hmm. last time i bought oh, some oh man yeah so, so check out your dollar that's 10 cents for a rag that's good because those would be good stocking stuffers or just whatever you know just to have anywhere mm -hmm. so definitely yes yeah. hopefully we'll be able to find those let us know if you found them what you guys think about it thank you so much for coming on and talking about your favorite products mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for spending some time with us and we will talk to you guys next time bye